Next, I'd like to look at the major seventh chord. The formula for this chord is first, third, fifth, and seventh notes of the major scale. If we look again at this scale of A major, you'll see that this time we add the normal seventh note of the scale, or G sharp, to produce an A major seventh chord. We play it like this. We can move our finger on and off the third string to hear the difference between these major seventh and dominant seventh chords. As before, the formula is the same for a major seventh chord in any key. So for C major seventh, we would add in the note of B by taking off our first finger when playing a normal C major chord, like so. For the chord of G major seventh, add in an F sharp note by changing our finger position, like so. For the chord of D major seventh, add in a C sharp note, like so, and play with just one finger. And so on. If we go back to the A major 7th chord and use 2nd, 3rd and 4th fingers to fret it, we can also move this shape up the neck as a bar chord to create other major 7th chords, just like we did with our open major and minor chords. Move the shape up by 2 frets and bar with 1st finger at the 2nd fret to make B major 7. Move the shape up by another fret to make C major 7. Up by another 2 frets will give you D major 7. And so on. The key of the chord you are playing depends on what note you are playing on the 5th or A string.